Animal Crossing now. Um, now that Pumpkin Jack is over and done with, I will be returning to my uh, classic beloved series, Filling Out the Museum. Where I will be in August. Ooh, there's a lot of until 5 p.m. No, I should change the time. So I'm kind of cheating here. There we go. So I turned back the time to like 2 p.m. So that should give me more than enough time to make get some get some uh, good animal availability to catch. Loading, loading, loading. I've got mail. New seasonal offerings, cool. Okay, yeah, I can put this uh, mushroom away. Roaches. Actually, you know what? I want to. I kind of want to change my face. change that up. Boom. There we go. Am I still blue on the hands? Oh, I didn't even confirm it. I'm a dingus. There we go. Fossils at this point are just to get the Nook Miles from getting the fossils appraised. Because I don't even need 
any more fossils in my museum. <laughs> okay, so there should be cicadas and crud on trees now. Because it is August. Yeah, August 1st. I was going to move my, whoop, my face down. There we go. So they're like a whole cheese load of bugs that I still have to catch now. Always good to get the clams. For fish. Yeah, there's just a whole bunch of stuff to catch. Yeah, come here. Puffer fish, first try. Ah, zebra turkey fish. I assume that's just planted in the wrong place. Like it's too close to the. There. Put it right here. Nursery coconut. Boom. Sea bass? Oh my goodness. I love sea bass. My favorite fish in this entire game. I'm so glad that every time I think I, I'm going to catch a different shit fish that has a big shadow, I actually just catch a sea bass. Honestly, I don't have anything in my head of, like, what I need to catch specifically. It's just kind of a, like, what shadows of fish can actually yield something that I haven't gotten yet. Crest door plate. I hear like a cicada. Oh, well, there it is. Got it. Is that just another brown one? Yeah, another brown one. Of all the cicadas out there. Catch two brown in a row. Typical. Alright, time to donate this bad boy. <laughs> I'd like to make a donation. I would love to. Cicadas are obnoxious insects, and not just brown cicadas, mind you, but all cicadas. They flex rib membranes on their torso called timbles to make a loud snapping sound. So rude. Who? Yes, it is only the males who make the noise, sometimes at a volume that can produce pain at close range. Appallingly inconsiderate, I must say. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for the donation. That's the brown cicada down. I should probably check that off the list. I mean, there's so many in... So many. You can get in August. 
that I haven't gotten already. It's brown. Okay, donated. Yeah, there's like 18 more bugs that I can catch. So. Is that a new one? A giant cicada. It's pretty big. Well, time to go donate that one. Out of my way, dog. You never left. Well, I guess I'm just that charming. <laughs> but weren't you saying goodbye to me because I left? I'd like to make another donation. Donate giant cicada. The giant cicada is rather aptly named. That is, it's a truly enormous bug. Ugh. These bees spend most of their lives underground where they gorge on tree roots. But once they emerge, they make an awful racket. In fact, some say their so song sounds like a shrieking, shrieking siren. I would rather listen to nails on a chalkboard. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donations. And the bugs are the bane of my existence. Blah, 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 blah. So then I left and came back. So you're saying goodbye to me, right? Check that off the list as well. Giant cicada. Donated. It's currently 228 on Gord Isle. Is that a butterfly? I've already caught all the butterflies. Is that a leaf bug? It is. Caught a walking leaf. It seems to be taking a stride. I don't need a pond skimmer, right? There's a lot of beetles. Walking stick. So basically all the, I've got a couple locusts that I need to uh, get, but like every other tree, every other bug is like on trees. It's a fossil. I like my pumpkin head in game. It's pretty windy on Gord Isle. Uh, grasshopper of some sort. Are my eyes going? Yes, I caught a grasshopper. They're a grass act. Oh! I've never caught a grasshopper. I believe they only he only says yes. Like the, the villager only says yes if you haven't caught it before.
All right, let's craft some. That's cool. Ooh, can you customize it to have your own design? You can. Ooh, interesting. All right, but for now, craft on those vanilla clams. Yum, yum. Oh yeah, I was gonna customize. See if I can't customize my door plate. Really? Wow. I thought I could be able to like put my own crest on it. My own custom material. Who needs windows, am I right? <laughs> I'd probably dump the, dump some stuff down here, dump the manila clams. Okay. <laughs> I always find it funny when, like, you donate, okay, a grasshopper. Here, a grasshopper. I found a grasshopper in my front lawn. Here, you can have it. <laughs> I got you a bug. Grasshoppers are known for making a chirping sound, though it doesn't sound like a chirping to me. They make this rude racket by rubbing their hind legs with their wings. And though they eat seeds and pollen, they sometimes prey on smaller insects, too. I say, such violent table manners should not be tolerated. Horrible hoppers. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation. <laughs> Jody good. Hey, premonition. I'm doing all right. How are you? Welcome to the stream. You just got it? Nice. Yeah, I'm uh, bending the rules a bit and changing my system clock so I can go to the months that I haven't previously caught all the stuff, all the insects in, as well as the fish. A long locust. I don't... I need a migratory locust. That's the last of the hopping. And then after that, everything else is on trees. Yes, I caught a walker cicada. I walk all the time and no one calls me Walker Carl. Texas Ranger Walker Carl. Oh. What should you name your island? I don't know. What do you want to name your island? But be careful. You only have 10 characters and you can't change it. I don't know. I just named... I named mine Gord Isle to fit with my... Uh, um, the, my theme. So I, I just... Hmm, think of something that you would want to put on your island and then maybe name it after that. Thank you. 
You could always do something silly and just say, like, uh, my island. The walker cicada is quite the noisy thing. I tell you, this impolite pest simply cannot abide the quiet. In the heat of summer, the male strikes up a strange rattling song, hoping to woo a mate. When other male cicadas hear the rhythmic racket, they join right in as if it were a sing-along. My headaches at the thought of it. Jabberwock? That's pretty good. Perfect amount of, uh, perfect length as well. Though I don't think you can get a Vorpal Blade in uh, this game, unfortunately. And the blade went snicker snack. In Donwagon Ropa? Okay. See, that's a good idea. If there's like one uh, an island you like in a video game or something, name it after that. I've never played Dongan Ropa, but I read the wiki, so I know the general gist. Ah, uh, didn't get close enough to the tree. Hate it when that happens. Okay, that's not new. Yeah, 10 letters exactly. So, it should fit perfectly. So there you go. I believe you found a name for your island. Make a net. I got a net. Bye bye. All done for now. Yeah, unfortunately, I think just because you're literally starting out, um, you, your airplane won't come up and won't be your airport rather won't be up and running. So you can't visit me, and I can't visit you. But yeah. I'm always not opposed to having some people come by, pick up stuff that they can. I stream Animal Crossing relatively often, so shameless plug, if you give me a follow, you might just be able to catch me sometime in the future. Might be able to give you a little boost. I know one of my friends, when I uh, initially started the game, they started it before me, so they gave me a... Uh, a vaulting pole so that I could access the entire island early. <laughs> Whoop. Yeah, so the vaulting pole gets you across the river. So you can access the entire, like, bottom tier of your island. And then you get the, uh, whatchamacallit, stepladder. Which gives you the access to all the rest of the island. Ooh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in that circumstance, they will... God dang it, I'm Yama Stanek. They'll, they'll clap for anything. A sweet fish. 
Ooh, that's a new one, I think. Yeah, for better or for worse, Animal Crossing doesn't really have a lot of... For all the creativity you can have in on your island, physically, with the island's residence there isn't. Uh, I don't... I think they're all equally rare. All of the fruits. I have all of them. So that's another thing. If you uh, came by in the future, I could give you one fruit of each. <laughs> I... I don't think I... I think I was apples, maybe? Maybe I was oranges. I don't really remember. A sweet fish! He's so sweet. Sweet fish are the damp heralds of summer. These slippery fellows appear in numbers when it warms up. They hatch in a river and then swim to the ocean. Once mature, they return to the river where they were born. When they return, depends on the river temperature. If it's too cold, their fishing season will start later. Some even say summer can't start without sweet fish, despite the key role played by the Earth's axial tilt. And there you have it. I'm fine. Yeah, I've already caught a Miamastag. I mean, appraise these fossils. Just so I can sell them. Uh, of course we have all the fossils such as those. We got all of them. Yeah, I don't have the... Uh... Yeah, it's in real life time. It, it, well, it, it goes off of the system settings in your clock. The clock in your system settings, rather. So, like, I... Uh... I bent the rules a little bit, and I went into my system settings turned off the time sync with the internet and um, changed it to August and during the day so I could catch more bugs. I know, I know, I know. I'm a monster. Nintendo has a problem with it. They can sue me. I think it's dark enough. I'm going to take a quick... I'm going to stand up and then uh, uh, open the shades. So yeah, if you're morally opposed to time traveling, as they call it. Come on down to my island. island. You won't be time traveling. You'll just be traveling to a different island in a different place, right? Right. That makes it okay. Oh, yeah, I actually unplugged my headphones. So this should be good. As I was saying, if you, uh, um, yeah. No, my, my voice, my mic audio was probably getting really quiet because I actually unplugged my, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as I was saying, people who are opposed to, uh, Time travel you can just uh, swing on by my island. Robust cicada, nice. That's another one. Yeah. Yeah, I was also half joking as well. 
Well, I did have one guy, I was in like June, and one guy had a blast because uh, it was raining, and I guess sharks come out more in the rain, and they're in June. So the dude was, he was real happy running around catching, uh, catching fish, catching sharks. All right, check the sweet fish off my list. Okay, cool. Going to the bugs. I would like to donate a robust cicada. Check that off. There we go. I would love to learn more. The robust cicada guy's name for the chirping sound it makes, which is said to be quite well robust. But robust hardly describes it. Abrasive, bombastic, cacophonous. That's more like it. Besides the hoarded caterwauling, this bug is known for its long wings, short body, and green coloring. But looking at a robust cicada is just as unpleasant as listening to one. My eyes and my ears are offended. Hold B. If you hold B, the uh, rate at which they'll talk is faster. And then you still have to press A to skip through each thing. Looks like the clouds are rolling in. <laughs> so yeah, you just rock. I just hold it like, hold my controller like this, hold B, and then just rock. And then press A. A lot, of, like, a lot of talking, and I'm like, yeah, 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 I don't care. Give me, get to the part where I get to build stuff, you know? Okay, I donated the, wait, I donated the walking cicada, didn't I? Walker cicada? I think so. I think I forgot to check it off my list. to go to Critterpedia. Rice, grasshopper, grasshopper. Walker, cicada, yeah. Okay, so let me check walker, cicada. Dang, so that's it for the cicadas that I can catch right now. Oh, I can still get a cicada shell. So if anyone happens to see a cicada shell on a tree, I don't know why you can donate a cicada shell. Whatever. Evening cicada starts at 4 p.m., of which in my game it is like 2.49. Oh, dang. All the... All the other beetles are like 5 p.m. So I think I might... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my time to 5 p.m. <laughs> I'm always afraid that I'll like X out before it saves. It really does not make me comfortable. The only way to save is to X out of the game. All right, system, date and time, date and time. Five o'clock. Did that save it? Yeah, okay, good. August 1st, five o'clock. All the beetles. That was really quick grabbing the uh, cicadas. So now the only cicada, cicada left is the evening cicada. I can also get a walking stick and a whole bunch of beetles. On trees. All right. Loading, loading, loading. Boo doo 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 doo.
do. Okay. Now, I should be seeing like cicadas gone and beetles arriving. So, on trees are where I want to be. Do-do-do-do. I want to be able to move with the camera in this position. But that is not in the cards. Is that an evening cicada? I want that. You know what? Are you kidding me? You're kidding me, right? Like, this is just a joke? Are you a migratory grasshopper? Migratory locust? 8 a.m. to 7, so... Those things should be hopping around. Got him. A saw stag. I think I've already got one of those. Let's check out all these. Uh... Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, so I already have one of those. Yeah, as you can see, I'm missing a nice big chunk here of just beetles. That there is a migratory locust. We got an evening locust, uh, or evening cicada, cicada shell. So, I'm getting there. Are you a migratory locust? No. What is a migratory? Does it have like brown on it? Or what does it look like? Eh, it's like shorter, squatter, browner. Wow, womp, wow. So did everybody have a nice relaxing weekend? Bass. Ooh! A soft shell turtle. I should take a shelfie. That's cute. I'm gonna donate it to the museum so it will never be free again. That doesn't look like a sauce stag. Boom. A horned dynastid. I'm pretty sure I already have that as well. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Oh, in like a soft shell turtle. They cook it up. Mm -hmm. 
Earth boring dung beetle. There's like only one bug in the winter, and it's like the dung beetle. Just because, like, they, I assume it's because they just wanted to have something in the winter. And the best I could think of was like, oh, let's just have a dung beetle roll some snowballs around. Let's make a donation. Turtle. Who do you? Yes, please. Soft shelled turtle is not one to shy away from biting when provoked. In addition to its powerful bite, this little critter has the ability to both breathe above and below water. It has an unusually long neck, which is useful uses for both breathing and biting. Come to think of it, how did you manage to avoid being bitten? Well, it's a fearsome critter, but just look at that face. Rather silly walk. There you have it. You know, I'm. I just want to know how I managed to grab like my uh, managed to grab like a sea urchin without like getting sna getting stabbed. All right, let's uh, check the soft shelled turtle off the list How soft a soft ah frick how soft a soft shelled turtle is huh. like is it squishy or is it just like a little less rigid than your typical turtle pro tip hold a you'll creep up boom snag it get like two species away drone beetle gosh dang it i already have that of course, all these beetles are like super duper rare, so catching each one is going to be a pain. At least that's what I understand. I need to get a brick bridge here. After I donate the next new bug, I'm probably going to have to go to the bathroom. I should have gone the gone when I was switching the games. What am I doing with my life? Are you a migratory locust? That was a pretty long hop. So I'm guess I guess no. A long locust. Eh. already have all the beetles you can give. There's only a couple beetles you can give a stump. That is like the one stump I left just for that purpose. I'm wondering if I should just dig it up now. It's like you could get a citrus longhorn beetle. Dung beetle potty humor. Did you just hear that? Because that was like three minutes ago. Dang. Your stream's lagging behind, Chi-Chi. About the talking about the dung beetles. Come here, migratory. Rice grasshopper. Okay. I was gonna say, dang, my latency is awful. Come here. 
Yes, I found a cicada shell. Glad a little guy came out of it. Uh oh. Might have just uh, permanently banned you if I was in the wrong mood, you know? Very wise. Cicada memories. Ah, cicada shells in summer. They're not really all that useful, but collecting them does help create summer memories that will last a lifetime. Okay. Shellless being. Like, why does that count as a bug out of all things? Like, it's, it's shell. Where's the migratory locust, man? Jeez. I'm wrestling with my conscience as to whether I should point out that you used the wrong word. No, I don't want to assess the fossils. All right, so let's see if I can do my no no intermission break. And I'm back. Let's scare blathers. Wow. All right. Okay, so I can just imagine, like, going up to Blavis and being like, Hey, so I have this cicada shell. Can I donate it? And him being like, Bruh, I guess. Alright, so I should probably check off the cicada shell. Shell. 
Migratory Locust. You got a Rincon? Nice. I have a Rincon. Both in real life and uh, in the game. I'm sick of these long locusts. I am I am seriously sick of them. Serially. What am I looking at for fish? Largest pond. Medium sea. Very large pier. Largest sea. Small sea. Oh, frick. I hear the cicada. Oh, there it is. There it is. Come here. Evening? Evening cicada? An evening cicada, better than an odd, odding <sighs> The puns. The puns in this game. I swear to God. They get better every time. <sighs> I can just imagine you got some... You know, drooling intern gets a job at Nintendo, you know, gets an internship at Nintendo because, like, their dad works there or something. And then, <laughs> like, ah, oh, frick, what do we have Billy do? Uh, give him a list of the all the creatures and tell him to write puns, funny puns when you catch them. <laughs> An evening cicada? Uh, what about uh, evening... Odding. An odding cicada. I would. The evening cicada certainly knows how to ruin a quiet moment. As the sun sets, it strikes up a sad song so sonorous, one can't hear one's own thoughts. I'd feel sorry for its melancholy moods weren't so very vocal about how it feels. Please pipe. Down. Yeah, the sea bass. Oh, wait, at least a C plus, not a sea bass. And it's like, what does bass have to do with, like, grading? You know, it's not even like bass sounds like minus or something, you know? And that's one of the worst ones, and you see it every time that you screw up a catch. You know, or you don't screw up a catch, but, like, you see a big shadow in the water, and you're like, that's probably, you know... That's that's a big shadow, let me get it, and then you catch it, and then it's like, nope, it's actually garbage. Check the evening cicada off. Dang. There's a fair amount of them on Paul. Of course, all these, like, huge beetles are all five-star rarity. Like, crazy. Yet to see a walking stick. Where's the migratory locust? <laughs> I 
I still haven't found like the uh, um, money tree spot. Turn and face the camera as your thing blows up. Long locust. Gosh dang it. It's probably just money. But hey, money is money. I will take it. Metronome. Wait, what? What? Premonition. something. So if you if you use it you should be able to select it from your um, your pockets and then hit use. And then if but if you already know the recipe, it'll tell you that you can't. I have no hardwood. Oh my god. None. Nada. Zip. Zilch. You might have to do something, complete some stuff in the game first. I'm not sure. I'm afraid I don't remember back that far. Like, it's like talk to Tom Nook or something. Either way, definitely hold on to it. You probably have to do some tutorial style, you know make a few DIY recipes on his workbench. Bees nest. rare. Oh, five. Let's craft. A slingshot. No, I did not want to keep crafting. Or maybe I did craft some vanilla, vanilla clam fish bait while I'm here. It's like my least part of the game, favorite part of the game right here. Navigating through people talking. Like I was trying to get the, there was like a fishing tourney in town and I was trying to get the stuff for the fishing tourney, all the special items. But like I had to talk to CJ and like press A like 30 times to go through a thing. And I was like, I, I cannot, I just can't. Cause you'd have to talk to him and then say this and that and then tell him you want to put the fish in the cooler or whatever. And you do things like you enter your house, you put the thing away, but you don't put the bait away, whatever. I just put the bait where the hardwood used to be. <laughs> 
Where a walking stick? I want a walking stick. There's beetles that theoretically show up on palm trees, but they rare. That's just a saw stag. Pretty darn sure. Oh, equally as unappealing. Where are all the bugs? All right, I suppose I should just try going for the fish. If I get what I can get. Okay, so right now, I could try for a largest shadow in a pond. A couple things. That's about it. Go for a puffer fish. Medium in the sea. Ocean sunfish. Did you figure out the DIY? Oh, that's an ocean sunfish, all right. Come and get it, dude. Come on. There we go. Prepare to be amazed, everybody. Oh, ho, 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 boy. <laughs> you can't even see. You can just see a little, little pumpkin stem. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Yes. I caught an ocean sunfish. Good thing I'm wearing ocean sunscreen. Shove it in my pocket. That is amazing. I love finding a big fish. Ooh. That is just a drone beetle, but I will catch it nonetheless. Boom. Did you figure out the DIY thing? Oh, oh I was right about the DIY thing. Okay. All I saw was about the DIY thing, and I was like, All right. Ocean sunfish is a large relative of the blowfish and with an unusual shape like a fish head with a tail. They are a fairly relaxed species, often content to ride where the currents take them. This is fortunate as otherwise the sight of a large head coming towards you might be quite alarming. And there you have it. All right, I have to check that off my list. I wonder what those things sell for. Four thousand. Oh, that's it, really. Yeah, it's 
not nothing, but. like this giant trevally I don't know, I, can't, I have like a couple of metronomes already. Giant trevally is like the big one in the pier you can get and I haven't. That's been a, up since June and I've been trying to get it on and off but it just doesn't seem to want to appear. <laughs> I don't know why. If I were a fish I'd love to be caught. Taking a chomp on a barbed hook. Oh, I'm looking for a medium shadow. Oh, there's another ocean sunfish. That's just a large shadow, though, I think. A zebra turkey fish. Press up on the D-pad. If you're talking about the tool wheel. If you press up on the D-pad, it'll bring up a wheel of things you favorited. In order to favorite them, you have to press X, press A on something, like a tool, and then press favorite. But, of course, you have to have a tool. Ain't no problem. Those things have been spinning for months. I'm just that strong. And that's just an evening cicada, that is. Definitely nothing I haven't caught before. Hello, Uki. Viewer I found in my chat. Oh, crud. Chased it away. Okie dokie. I'm just trying to find me some more bugs. Where's a walking stick? Wow, wow, wow. It's like a medium shadow. Yeah, I have trouble, like, differentiating the different shadow sizes. You made a walking stick island? How does one make a walking stick island? Specifically. I must say I'm curious. Oh. Okay, an island specifically made for um, catching 
trees, tree bugs. Are they like especially rare or something? Granted, I'm not looking for only a walking stick. You don't even know if they're rare or not, but you made an, an island specifically for the express purpose of catching a walking stick. Dang. Although I did, I, I planted a lot more palm trees to try to encourage um, some of the, be the beetles. In a month to catch any panic. Dang. Oh, another bottle. I thought I already got one today. A generic pot. Just a pot. Yeah, I'm going for the August people right now. August critters, rather. Hey, a puffer fish. I caught a puffer fish. I thought you'd be tougher, fish. A balloon. Okay, hold up. That's a rice grasshopper. Don't eat that puffer fish. Let's make a donation. Puffer fish, check that off the list. And I would love to hear about it. Blathers. The biggest difference between them is that the puffer fish is not deadly poisonous, like it's kin. It's kin what? So while it may look scary, the substantially reduced risk to life and land makes it much better company. Like a porcupine fish, you say? And there you have it, fascinating stuff. No? Or a blowfish. Oh, I gotta assess that possible. For money. A left megalo side. Come on, walking stick, where are you at? Four, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Definitely after five.
Wow, wow, wow. There's a line of trees. Any of them could be housing a walking stick. Yet none of them seem to want to. Why is that? Excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, that's what happens when you live on your own. You wake up at noon. Nobody's going to be there to say anything otherwise. There's a walking leaf, but I want a walking stick. <sighs> That's a drone beetle. Don't care. Dang, I am just wandering aimlessly. There's like quite a few beetles that I can catch that come out at 5 p.m. <laughs> Room full of drunks and the, the that's how they got the fish puns. Which fish are you uh, talking about now? Give me the name and see if I can't guess the, uh, can't remember the, the pun. Oh, just any, okay. Is that a migratory locust? No. Okay, I definitely... Is this incorrect? Migratory locust, August to November, on the ground, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. It is any weather. It is 544, August 1st. Migratory locust should be out, right? a long locust. Horse Mac girl. Of course, Mac girl. A Miyama stag. I saw a stag. Now I can't unsee it. I saw it. Now I can't unsee it. <laughs> what was that? Got any vanilla clam? Mm. 
So I think I've caught pretty much everything that's easy to catch. Now it's just the, the grind. Because, yeah, everything's either really rare or out of season or out of time at an off time. Those things extend out, and it's kind of creepy. Hmm. Vanilla clams. This is definitely not the right size of shadow. It also thinks that you can get a super rare beetle and just approach it from the wrong angle, and before you even see it, it's flying away. And the game's like, yep, oh, you blew it. I got the clam. <laughs> a saw stag. Another one. Another one. Oh, Miyama. You! Are you a migratory locust? No! Why? Why is... Uh... How rare can these punks be? Are they only in like a certain area of a map? Of the map and I just... Am a fool? Wow. Oh my goodness. If you set it up like that, you can still catch it, but you cannot get too close. That's pretty cool. So if you were to put everything in front of, like, a, an arrangement of things like that in front of every tree, you could, like, guarantee, if you're approaching it from the south, you could guaranteed catch a beetle every time. That's pretty cool. And I do believe it's time for me to get crafty. Eh, cicada, I don't care. <laughs> okay, let's craft fish bait. done for now. I think I'm going to start resorting to the uh, start actively baiting fish. A yeah, catfish. A black bass. A carp. Oh, a carp. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I want to grab, you know how much crud I got. 
I want to grab fish bait. No, I thought I was holding my pole. Yeah, come here, you. Migratory. No. <laughs> no! When will the pain stop? Let's just drop that right there. <laughs> Time to sell the bug. I want to sell. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> I got so much money. I'd be interested to know. So when you sell stuff and you get too much money, they put the extra bells in your pockets. And if you're selling something, obviously then you have space in your pockets for extra bells because you just sold that thing. But if you like messed with the game or something or found a way to somehow sell more bells than they could give you so your pockets were full and they'll be like, oh, your pockets are full but you need to be given more, what would happen? I wonder... Could I put that brick bridge in? Stock infrastructure. Bridges. Let's build a bridge. Jesus Christ. Yeah. time I put an actual bridge in here. Alexander. Escaping permit. My island. Oh, nice. <laughs> Holy moly.
I did not think... Holy cow. Come on. Oh, come on. Stop it. Just the right width. Oh my goodness. No! Yeah, gosh darn. Oh my goodness. This thing is such a pain. Okay. So that's going to be good. But, nevertheless, I'm going to need to dig these up. So, we don't get kilt. Dang. Fine, whatever. Tree's gone. My phone is ringing. <laughs> Hello, Tom Nook here. Did you find a good spot for the brick bridge? Yeah. Wonderful. What will say collect donation for construction fees? Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, you kind of cute. I was wondering how that worked, because those fees seemed a bit exorbitant. Maybe I'll drop a cool 100, 100k in there. I wonder what the uh, algorithms for donations are. Gonna have to pave out those things a little bit later. <laughs> sure. Yeah. 
I just donate over half. Wow. I wonder if I like fast forwarded months, if they would automatically get the donation goal. <laughs> just from the pennies that all the residents would chip, chip, chip in over the months. All right, anywho, I try to try to catch a giant trebly. Go for it. Take the bait. Uh, olive flounder. Come on, giant trebly. Of course, anything that you catch at the pier, or that you can catch at the pier, you can also catch. Um, or anything you catch in the, in the ocean, rather, you can also catch at the pier. Okay, that's just a mora eel. Or a ribbon eel, rather. No more. I want a big one. That's a big one. Wow, a sea bass. Oh. Highly frustrating. Sea bass. God dang it. Pretty sure I've already donated one of those, but evening cicada, pufferfish. Yeah, I got one. Darn it, C sharp, C plus plus, JavaScript, Python, assembly. What a bummer.
years of academy training wasted. Oh, there's the money spot. The money tree spot. I like camellias. The red camellias are my favorite. ABD. Oh, come on. Okay, 9,000. Go. Stuff that in my pocket. Put that away. Take 10,000. Bury that in the hole. Money tree. a big boy. Oh! Ara Paima. <laughs> Already got quite a few of those. Are you a migratory locust? What? Where are the migratory locusts? Uh, they're out till seven. Still no luck with the migratory locust. No, I don't know. Yeah, I've caught a lot of the bugs that are common. I've got into the part where I just have walked along the beach digging up manila clams and you can craft those into uh, fish bait and so you can throw fish bait into the water to just summon another fish and I know I was like looking for a certain size shadow and so I was just throwing bait you know just throwing 15 bait right <laughs> Slam dunk. Yeah, clap. Yes. <laughs> Cut all migratory locusts. Things just went south for this guy. Uh, in order to craft... Manila clam, you have to learn the rest, or if you learn the recipe, then you go to a DIY bench and then you just choose Manila clam. <laughs> Did 
Thank you, thank you. Pretty pitiful when I'm getting congratulated on cutting, like catching a migratory locust. Though that means I don't have any more grasshopper type critters to catch. So I can check that one off my list. Donated. So all I have is beetles and walking sticks. So they're all on trees. I think all the bugs that I have left are, uh, live on trees. The lone migratory locust. It seems like a, such a harmless hopper as it bounces about in the grass. But beware when these pests band together and travel in swarms. They leave devastation in their wake. Migratory locusts have gathered by the middle of millions throughout history, wiping out crops and causing famine. That's why I always say never let a locust hang out with its friends. That is precisely how a plague begins. All right, as a celebration, let's see if KK Slatter is taking requests. Let's see, what new song do I want? No, I ask all questions you want, that's fine. Oh, here's a sweet one. Um... Initially, you use Nook Miles, but later you can use them to buy all sorts of things um, from Nook Miles tickets, which sends you to other islands that you can, you know, farm resources from and meet potential new villagers. Um, there's some DIY recipes you can get. There's some, you have the ability to expand your pockets. Uh, you'll be able to see in, like, the town hall tent. Eventually, they'll set one up. All right. What's it called? KK Slider. It's called I. Love. You. I love you, KK Slider. You asked me for a. For a recommendation, I just said I love you. I don't think I've actually heard this song before. Yeah, such a sweet voice. So nice.
Ooh, shooting stars. So pretty. Brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> Copyright Nintendo. You better believe it. <laughs> he sings me a song and then says that was unreal. Arrogant. There we go. Register that. Boom. Drone beetle. I do not no, I want any drone. That's a pretty one. It's mine now. <laughs> it's an Aldric Emperor butterfly. Not your average monarch. Yeah, so I've got, I can catch right now the Goliath on palm trees, the Cyclomatus on palm trees, Golden Stag on palm trees, Giraffe Stag on palm trees, Horned Atlas on palm trees, Horned Elephant on palm trees, Horned Hercules on palm trees, and the Walking Stick on any trees. But I have not seen any of them. So many. <laughs> What's a gar? How do you catch a gar? Largest pond, 4 to not, four p.m. to 9 a.m. It's pretty big, but then whenever I think it's big, I mean, it looks big, but it's just large, and it's not very large. Ugh. So frustrating. Catfish. Ugh. Frustrating. You know, let me take a break from all this bug and fish. Let's go for... Go for some ooh, creatures. Make our manila dump off our extra stuff. Excuse me. of flowers.
I'm pretty sure that was a large. If that was just a gar and I scared it away, I'm gonna cry. But I'll never know. Uh, frustrating. fishy all right so the different size shadows that I am looking for a small slow one a small very slow one a medium very fast one another medium very fast one a medium medium one medium one very small very slow All right, so I should just swim around and grab some. <laughs> a flatworm. Guess you forgot it's a bear worm. Ooh, flatworm. I'm just as skilled. I can die. I can do anything with a pumpkin on my head. I'm Carl the Pumpkin Man. Don't you forget it. First try. Be a flatworm. Marine flatworms are well flat and worm-like, as their name suggests. While this sea creature is said to be quite simple, it does possess some rather remarkable powers. You see, when flatworms are injured, they can grow new body parts with ease. And when a flatworm is cut in half, each sign can grow a whole new flatworm of its own. But most impressive of all, some plat flatworms can clone themselves without suffering a single cut. Uh, if only I, could, too, could safely divide myself into two. Imagine all the work I could do. And there you have it. <laughs> Messages in a bottle are just signed any... Um, Raymond is, is a popular one, but messages in a bottle are just signed any... I'm pretty sure any villager that you don't have. Yeah, Raymond is one of the new ones that, uh, there's like six new villagers that because they are new, they have no amiibo card, so there's no way to reliably get them, and there's like almost 400 villagers. I, I believe I have one of them. Her name is Adi. I'm not sure what they all are. Quite, truth be told, I'm not a huge fan of the villagers themselves. Um, I kind of think villagers... The animal villagers in Animal Crossing are the least interesting part of the game. <laughs> but I digress. Okay, let me check the flatworm off. <laughs> yeah, you'll see a message in a bottle. Uh, oh, no, don't check off the isopod. Gosh dang it. Um, yeah, so you can get one every day, a message in a bottle. Okay.
All right, sorry. I have the official, official, unofficial uh, Animal Crossing app. Tracker app. I honestly don't know how they calculate days. I don't know if it's like, yeah, you, as soon as the clock hits 12.01. I've never played the, the game past midnight. It's always possible that they'll, at midnight, the clock will strike 12, and then it'll zoom in. You know, the screen will go blank, and then it'll start the next day's announcements or something. Uh, and then forward, progress to the day forward. I'm pretty sure, like, I've built something at 3 p.m. and then woke up and then it was done at 2 p.m. the next day. So I'm not sure if you have to turn the game off or what, but I don't think it's 24 hours. It's just the next actual day. Spotted garden eel. <laughs> oh, you thought you were fast, but I was faster. Oh, mantis shrimp. small ones. Can't wait to catch the urchin with my bare hands. <laughs> when you're catching bugs, you use a net. When you're catching fish, you use a rod. But when you're catching sea critters, you just dive in there and just, you just go up to them, swim right down, and just go, arr, and get them. Pearl oyster. Come here, you. Abalone. Abalone sandwich. Classic. Sea slug. I kind of want to pet a sea slug. I feel like I feel like that would be an enjoyable experience. Just oh, your body.
Pepsi grapes. Hey, a moon jellyfish. How to find a sun peanut butter fish. Get it? Because that's like the opposite of moon jelly. I can't use my makeshift bridge anymore. I killed it. Out of my way, KK Flatter. You and your cursed stools. Just like a dog, leaving stools all over the yard. Make a donation. The moon jellyfish. Moon jellyfish don't have stingers, like operational stingers, I think. So that's why you can snag them. The moon jellyfish. What's not to love about this pretty floating flower of the sea? Well, I suppose its tentacles do give a sting when touched, but it's only a mild thing to the likes of us. Other creatures may not be so fine of this translucent beauty. But who can blame them, really? Moon jellyfish have stinging cells called... Nidocytes? That kill fish and other small critters that float by. They use their oral arms to pull these morsels into their mouth and stomach. Indeed, one need but observe the moon jellyfish to see how brutal and beautiful nature can be. And there you have it. Evidently... I was reading a paper on how um, jellyfish, there are certain species of jellyfish, are theoretically immortal. Because while most um, most organisms go from a like a infant stage to a juvenile stage to senescence and then they die, um, jellyfish have the ability to revert from senescence back to the juvenile phase. So this same one organism doesn't die. But then again, if do jellyfish even have a central nervous system, and, and if they don't, then does it really count? Because, like, theoretically, you could say a tree doesn't die as long as you cut one of the branches off and then uh, plant it in the ground every once in a while. Let me check the uh, moon jellyfish off the list. The sea urchin. Okay. I can catch a sea urchin and a vampire squid. Vampire squids are very fast. Sea urchins are small and slow. A sea star. Patrick. No, Patrick. No. We are a jellyfish. Yes, I got a sea urchin. Wasn't even urchin for it. Except I was. I was very specifically urchin for it.
Got in half an hour left of my hunt. Until I must depart. Make a donation. Your urchin. Yeah, the sea urchin, the unabashed goth of the ocean floor. Indeed, with its mane of dark cute spikes, it looks for all the world as if it might front a punk rock bang band. What? Talk about Spike from Splatoon? Perhaps it's more demure relatives, a sea cucumber and the sea star. Disapprove of its outlandish look? It would certainly explain why sea urchins... Sea stars gobble up sea urchins every chance they get. But worry not for our spiky friend, its venomous spines are an effective deterrent to many a predator. And then there are its sticky tube feet, which it uses to maneuver out of harm's way. Tube feet, I say? What will this salty rebel think of next? And there you have it. Fascinating stuff. No. Who knew my stream was educational? I keep forgetting to put different tags on my stream. <laughs> like the family friendly one is one that I can definitely. I need to like slide through the tags and see if there are any that apply to my stream. Because <laughs> those are like an easy way to get exposure. Playing with you, that's true. There we go. Multiplayer. Ask me anything. That's, I like that one. I like it when people ask me questions. Makes it much easier to talk on stream without rambling on about random crap that I, whatever I can think of. <laughs> Did I just chase away a walking stick? I heard a little pitter-patter of like, running away feet. I thought about it at the start of, like, my previous stream. I was playing Pumpkin Jack, but that's rated T. So I was like, well, I can't really in good conscience put uh, Family Friendly, even though it's very mild of a game. But then I forgot when I switched over to um, Animal Crossing. By the way, thank you for the uh, quick tag suggestions, Premonition. Appreciate it. Because usually uh, OBS would just suggest, like, platformer, shooter, or whatever. If you happen to think of some, feel free to send them my way, but <laughs> don't, don't feel like you have to. I'm probably sometime in the near future just going to scroll through all the different tags and see. Once I read through them, I usually... Ooh! It's a special time of the stream. Time for some sage wisdom.
from Pascal. Absolutely, you may have it. Absolutely, dude. <laughs> All right. Let me lay some truth on you. Keep deep kind, everybody. Strap in, get comfy. We're about to get some sage wisdom. Feel this. Rocks are the oysters of the land. Stick that in your skillet and let it simmer. Yep. Today is a good day. Is one for design? Ooh. I don't know. I'm not design based. Yeah, but that might be interesting to look into that. Because I don't know. I'm using Streamlabs as my encoder software, encoder, streaming software here. And it has a drop down with like all the descriptions of what each tag uh, generally means. Let's see what he gave me. Mermaid fishy dress. Chi Chi, you, was your mind just blown? Oh, premonition, you cert, you, you, a certain in the, certing in a plug. Are you a streamer as well, and not just a viewer? Yeah. <laughs> I know, like, I watched through all the Twitch videos that they recommend you watch if you're going to be streaming, and it was like, um, don't go, like, plug in your stream on a bunch of other places. And, like, I can see that to some extent, but I have no problem with... Whoa, hey. I'm surprised Automod didn't catch that. But yeah, remember, I just put the family friendly stream tag on. <laughs> yeah, I I thought I had an auto mod on. And it's caught it's caught uh someone call someone caught a sucker fish and they said sucker. There you go. Poop quality. That's much better. But yeah. Um someone said sucker fish. Like, I caught a sucker fish, and it said, uh, sucker blocked for hostility. And I was like, no, no, they can say sucker fish. <laughs> so I'm kind of surprised. I'll have to look at Automod and see what, what the quality or how they are. Well, there was, um, yeah, no, this is through Twitch itself. I don't have Nightbot or Moobot or any, any bot set up, but Twitch itself has a native um, auto mod somewhere in the preferences, and you can set preferences of, like, uh, how stringent you want it to be. So there's, like, hostility, so calling people a sucker. There's language. Uh, I think, like, adult topics or something like that. I'm not sure. But you can change those... And they have a set database of words that will automatically get flagged. And if anyone says anything that's flagged, um, it'll tell the streamer or the, or the and or the mods. Um, and then they can say, no, that's not a word. Yeah, you're correct. That's not a word that I want people saying or that's fine. Let it let it be. In terms of, of streaming, like, obviously, I'm not a big streamer. I'm not even an affiliate or anything, but it's more of a something fun to do. And I think it's okay to have not great quality. I mean, my webcam is literally just the camera built into my laptop, and my laptop is sitting on two boards that are um, spanning the arms of my recliner. So I have my arms my recliner, two boards across it, and then my laptop is on top of that. <laughs> and then I'm just using this mic right here. Oh, so you just play the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, I feel like Mike 
you know, the, of course there's nothing wrong with just playing the game. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just one of those things. The biggest thing about streaming with Twitch, I think, is just do whatever you want to do. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. Because I feel like if you... Like, if I were to try to, like, really try to uh, go out there and get followers and get viewers, like, actively, instead of just focusing on doing what I want to do, like, it would kind of backfire. And plus... I was having a discussion with some followers before where, like, one of them mentioned that their sister, uh, like, joined a Facebook beg group for people to follow her. And so what she did was she got people in that group to, like, just view her, um, at least three people at all times, to just, like, leave her on in the background so that she could get affiliate. So she got affiliate really quickly, but then as soon as she got affiliate... The other people in the group were like, well, you're affiliate. We did our job, whatever. And then so they just left. And so she's like, yeah, now all I, you know, I'm the only person that watches my sister. So uh, kind of wasn't worth it. <laughs> so I definitely do not want to do that. I'm sure I could ask a bunch of people to just watch me in the background. But like, I don't know. I want to work my way up. On my own merits. Not because I... I uh, sit, stayed, and rolled over... In order to beg other people to... Just view my stream... Inorganically. Yeah. When you're like before affiliate, obviously you're not making money, so might as well do it just to have if you enjoy it. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not actively hunting for money, right? Like, when I get affiliate, I'm not going to be like, remember to donate, blah, 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 blah. But, I mean, hey, if people want to donate, <laughs> I'm not going to say no. So I'll set it up. I'll let it happen. If people ask about it, I'll, I'll say that they can. But I'm not going to be like, yeah. And at the end of the day, if you're enjoying it, that's all that matters. Probably check the sea urchin off. <laughs> yeah. I certainly don't. I know some people, I've heard of some people that where they like get really angry when people just lurk and they don't chat, which I don't fully understand. Yeah, no extra work. That's a big thing. You know? No extra work. If you just want to throw it up when you're... That was another thing I was thinking. Like, if I just stream only when I'm playing... Like, I could theoretically 
whenever I just felt like playing a video game, like in my spare time, I could just stream myself doing it. Um, but at the end of the day, I decided against that because I kind of don't want to be like, if I just want to chill and play, I don't want to be like, oh, well, I got to talk about it because I want to be engaging. But yeah, biggest thing that was preventing me from streaming was time. You know, college student, got a job, homework, all that fun stuff. But then pandemic came around. Yeah. Play Fall Guys. Yeah, Fall Guys, there's not much... Uh, you don't really need to tell people what, what you're doing or anything. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, I didn't have the time, really. I would do it, like, rarely when I thought about it, when I had time. And then pandemic came around. Students weren't allowed to live in the dorms as much. So they had to cut student workers because they couldn't pay for them. So I got cut because I'm a student worker. But I just started streaming. You know, it's not like I was depending on that uh, money for living expenses or anything. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Whenever you want to play, you just start up a stream. I am trying to, you know, build up something. Part of that is just a challenge as well. Like to see, can I build up a community? Like, it, is that something I can do? Even if it's a small community, can I get it where there are people that want to spend t spend time out of their day chilling with at my stream you know with me that's part of it and and i think i do have to do some work like stick to a schedule um play at least one game consistently but yeah as long as people are swinging by and talking i'm happy if they want to follow if they want to eventually if they want to subscribe or donate cool beans but yeah it's just something to while the time away <laughs> thanks for the follow premonition greatly appreciate it and yeah, follow now before you forget. And I love the customizability. I think I, I think personally, the music and the uh, GIF there I found perfect. I love it so much. Oh, like you want to make sure that the streamer is like someone that you actually want to follow, and then you forget. Yeah, I can see that. I, I usually... I'm trying to now say, like, when I end the stream... You know, I'm only streaming for, like, 10-ish minutes. <laughs> and I'll remind them. Try to remind everybody, like, oh, if you like what you see, follow. But people usually leave. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I am full up. My pockets are full. Yeah, I can. I can definitely see that. I don't know. I'm not much of a Twitch watcher myself. More of a Twitch, just a streamer. Because again, like there was a the whole time thing. I don't really have a lot of free time, so that was really the only reason I could get away with streaming is because I couldn't work anymore. So I was like, well, I'll just uh, uh, stream when I would be working. So that worked out pretty well. <laughs> and that was last month, so I titled my stream. I got laid off, so I might as well grow pumpkins. Because I was going through the October uh, update. 
getting all the recipes and stuff. So that was pretty fun. A sea anemone. And anemone is on Chuka. Where's the vampire script? Can I even catch it at this time? 4 p.m. 9 a.m. Well, that's that's this time. I think the saddle biter. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it says 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. And for the longest time, I just read 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Hey, I just got an email. Premonition is following me on Twitch. Nice. Look at that. Come here, you. Uh, this is a pain. Usually, I find the find the fast sea critters in relative short order. I don't really have any problem with catching extra sea critters because um. You can't break anything. As much as I like the crafting system in, in New Horizons, it really frustrates me like where you have to craft your tools again and again. I feel like at least once you get a... If you can get a golden tool, that should never break. Like, gold is so valuable. And it's so hard to get most of the golden recipes. I feel like once you do that, it should never break. Like, right now I'm out of hardwood. And that's frustrating. <laughs> 
Dun dun dun. Da da dun da 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 da. Oh no. I thought it was a fast one, but not even close. Dun dun dun. Ba da 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 da. Dun dun dun. Da 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 da. Dun dun dun. That's definitely not it. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Bum 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 bum. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Do 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 do. How many? Okay, I got like a fair amount of slots left. Sploosh, sploosh. I love how good the villagers are at swimming, despite having a giant head and little spheres for hands. It's an octopus. I wish I had four hugs at once right now. Pandemic says I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to get hugs anymore. Where's your little... Come here. Got him. I got the little sea slug. Alright. Well. One more catch and I think I should sell these and be on my way as my... My stream do end at 8. I got things to do. I would say people to see, but... I do not. Oh, that was a relatively uh, help, relatively productive stream. I can't move on to. Oh my god! What's that? Is that something that I want? Oh, no, it's not. It's just a blue evil beetle. But yeah, so how my, my strategy works is I catch stuff until I've caught every critter that leaves in the month that I'm in, and then I move on to the next month. But there's still some critters that leave in July. I think all the beetles do. They are leaving August, so I can't move on to September. All right. I think that's a good place to stop. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. If you liked what you saw and you're not following already, feel free to do so. If you want to see other content from me, I've got various content links in the description of the chat. Stay safe out there, everybody. Don't leave your house unless you need to. 
But if you do, make sure you wear a mask, stay six feet away from people, and wash your hands often. Good night, everybody.